The new and most reliable place to get your FIFA 16 coins is buycheaputcoins.com. Use J54 at checkout for 10% off. Stock up on some coins for the new international man of the matches that will get released during Euro 2016. What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We have got a 7 minute score builder for you around the 90 team in the tournament, Sanchez. He's got unbelievable stats. He's got 90 stats left, right and centre. And I really do genuinely believe we can build an absolutely unbelievable team around him. And uh, yeah, I will not let you guys down with that. So, we're going to dive into this. But before we do, I want to kind of help you guys out. So, during the past month or so, EA have been releasing like loads and loads of international man of the matches and team of the tournaments. And we've obviously all been opening a load of packs to try and, you know, obviously pack one of them players. And I'm sure I'd say 95% of us haven't really got our money's worth for the packs and the amount of money or coins that we've spent opening these. And... Yeah, I would say quite a lot of us feel a little bit hard done by, which we usually do after every single pack opening. So basically, there's a way which you can kind of recoup some of your losses. Now, this app is basically called App Bounty. Um, it's an app which kind of enables you to earn real money for downloading apps through that app. Uh, so it's pretty simple. All you've got to go ahead and do is download the app, First of all, go onto Safari or the web browser on your Android phone and go on appbounty.net. Once you go on there, you'll get asked for a referral code. You can put in the referral code Jack54HD and you've got to do it exactly how it says on the screen right now. So a capital J, lowercase ACK, 54 and then capital H and capital D. Now, once you've downloaded this app, you can go ahead and literally start downloading other apps via this app. Now, once you've downloaded an app, you can stay on there for 30 seconds, have a little play on it, see what it's like. Most of these apps are like games and stuff like that, guys, so you might actually find something that you like anyway. Um, and then you go ahead, come off the app, delete the app, go back onto App Bounty, and it will show you that you've, you know, obviously been given credits for, for downloading the app. Now, for each app that you download, you probably, you can, it can average between about, I'd say 150 credits to, let's say, 350 credits. Now, if you kind of think about how quickly you can download an app, play on it for 30 seconds or a minute and then delete it and then go back onto the app and you'll get given the credits. Think how many times you can do that for an, for an hour whilst watching your favorite TV program. You're gonna rack up quite a lot of credits. Now, five, a five pound PSN or Xbox gift card is 6,000 credits. So say every, like in every app that you download is 300 credits worth. You can literally do that in like half an hour or an hour or something like that. And if you do that for the course of a night, for the course of a week, you could probably get about 50, 60, 70 pound and then you redeem that for FIFA for an Xbox card or PSN, put that onto FIFA and you've got a pretty big pack of it that you guys can go ahead and chance your luck at getting some of the new team of the tournament players which are going to be released tomorrow. The team of the tournament Europe players, so obviously there's like probably going to be like Torres, uh, the likes of him, which is going to be absolutely insane. He's probably going to be like 94 rated or 95 rated or something like that. So this now is going to be the perfect time to do it, I promise you. Um, and it's probably quite a decent way of racking up some FIFA points as well before FIFA 17 because I know you guys will all be getting that as well. So if you have any problems with the instructions and how to do everything, click the link down in the description below or in the description there will just be instructions and it'll make it very, very clear what to do. But yeah, hopefully you guys get involved. I know I have and it's been very, very worthwhile. And um, yeah, I've had loads of other good support on it uh, in recent times as well. So let's go ahead and dive straight into this seven minute score builder now. We're gonna go ahead and find ourselves a second player. Um, so I don't know why my thief has been like this. Here we go. Right, let's go ahead and open a pack. We're gonna say we're gonna say these 100k packs for for tomorrow. Okay, I gotta do it. Um, so there'll probably be like a, a discard packs or something like that tomorrow with the 100k packs. We're gonna which is gonna probably gonna be pretty insane. Anyway, let's go ahead and open these packs right now. We're gonna open one 15k pack and get a second player from it, and then obviously let's hope we get someone decent. Come on, what are we gonna get? We've got a goalkeeper. Sirigu, okay, I'm, I'm over the moon with that. That's actually a very good player to go ahead and pick up. Here we go, we're gonna scroll through these right now. I'm gonna stop in three, two, one. There we go, I have stopped and we can't use that formation so we'll roll again. Three, two, one, stop. We've got the four, two, three, one, second variation. Okay, that is gonna be blimmin' hard. Right, I'm not sure I'm ready for that, but here we go, we're gonna give it our best shot. Um, right, now go ahead and ask you guys for some players to shotgun. 
Okay, so it's pretty evident that the three players that you guys want me to shotgun are Vidal, Thiago Silva and Olivier Giroud. So they're the three players that I cannot use. Pretty interesting. Um, I can still da use David Luiz, of course, and Melquinhos, but I'm going to try and mix things up and go for something a little bit different, I think. So let's go ahead and get this timer started. I'm excited um, to kind of build this team. I really am. So seven minutes is going to start in three, two, one. There we go. Seven minutes has started. So Vidal, Thiago Silva and Giroud, I cannot use. Right, let's dive into this. Um... Right, first things first, my main aim is just to get Sanchez some chemistry. Straight up the bat, straight off the bat, straight up the bat, <laughs> straight off the bat, there we go. Um, so, yeah, I am thinking, potentially, uh, I just want to see if there's any other good, like, Chilean, Chilean players that I can use uh, to grab some chemistry from elsewhere. So, let's have a think. Uh, concept players, any good strikers? There is Vargas. I used him in a 7 minute squad builder recently though, so or like a hybrid video, so I don't, I don't really want to use him. Is there any cams at all which are decent? Um, Morales, okay. Uh, not really sure about him. Valdez, okay. Arangui, okay. Ooh, Fernandez. Okay, okay. Here we are. He's not going to be striker, but he could potentially be a very, very nice cam for us. Just thinking about it, he could be very nice indeed. So, we're going to keep him there. Now, the next player I'm going to go ahead and pick up. I need, um, well, I need a CDM, don't I, basically, for Arsenal. It's a pity, really is a pity, that uh, Xhaka isn't in an Arsenal shirt yet on this game. That's a real, real, quite a, that's a disappointment, disappointment actually. Um, so, I think we're going to go ahead and use Coquelin because Ramsey I would use, but there's no... Welsh left backs that I think I can use, uh, which are kind of high rated. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use Coquelin. Uh Is he an inform? No, he's just an upgraded card. But still, it's not a bad card. Come on, let's be real. It's actually you know he's all right. He is all right. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and just get a French left back. I think French left back. Yeah, just a French left back. And then we've basically got Sanchez on full chemistry, and we won't have to worry about him because we can just go into a different league now. So. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get cliche. There we go. That's done. Okay, lovely stuff. Now, um, we have got to think about what we want to do for the rest of this team. I am kind of just tempted to go for David Luiz and Marquinhos. I really am now. Um, so, yeah, just to kind of make this as just like a, do you know what I mean? A stronger team as possible, I suppose. Uh, David Luiz. How much is his 89? Uh, how much is 89? We've got... Ooh, okay, right, we can actually afford him. We're going to go for him. Yeah, we're going to go for him. He's like 99k or something like that. I don't think you'll get a better value for money player than that, will you really? Um, so let's just go pick up the cheapest one. Okay, 98,500, whatever. That is absolutely perfect. And then I think we can just go ahead and get Martin Wilson. You know, have, just have that done with, to be fair. Um, done and dusted. Right, um, actually, actually... Do we want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get him. Let's just go and get him. Okay, so Brazil, uh, concept players, league and PSG. There we go. Does he have an inform card? I don't think he does. We'll just get this one. No, he doesn't. It's not an inform. Okay, so there we go. That's our defense. Well, our two centre backs sorted and our goalkeeper. We've got three minutes and 40 seconds left. What now? What can I do now to kind of make this team as good as possible? So let's go into the Serie A. Fiorentina, is there any good Fiorentina strikers? There's Rossi, Zarate, okay, not really the kind of players that I wanted to be seeing, to be honest. Ooh, there is Ilicic though. Okay, that's quite interesting. I'm, do you know what I'm really tempted to do? Just swap them around. Swap them around like that, like that. Um, or it doesn't have to be like that, to be fair. We can just, hold on, we can remove that. Let's just, hold on, let's just remove that. Because we could just go ahead now and get Medell for that position there. Hold on a second. If we went ahead and got Medell at CDM, like so. And then, hmm, yeah, this is where the problem lies, to be fair. We, we have to get Thingy another link. There's no two ways about it. We need to get Sanchez another link somewhere. 
Um, yeah, that is the problem. That is the problem that we're going to face. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. I think I might play Fernandez up top then. Because I, I know he's a centre the mid, but he's a player which I've used up top before and he's played so well, genuinely so well. So, I mean, yeah, why not? Do you know what I mean? Why not? Uh, but then that does mean we need another Fiorentina player, I think, which isn't great. Fiorentina right midfield. We've got Blaszczykowski. I mean, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Um, or we could just roll, roll and get Rossi. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stop making things so complicated and just um, and get a good. We'll go ahead and just get a good. Uh, where is he? Hold on one second. We go. There's Fernandez. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get a good uh, winger. That's what I think we'll have to go ahead and do. So. Fiorentina, there we go, Rossi, lovely stuff. So as long as he's there, we can then go ahead and get literally whatever right midfielder we want from the Serie A, which I want to get the highest rated one possible. So what have we got, what have we got? Uh, we need, oh my God, we've got a minute left. This is no good, this is no good. We need a high rated winger. Mohamed Salah, maybe? Yes, does that work? That does work, doesn't it? Does work, and then we can go ahead and get um, a Roma right back or an Inter right back. I think we'll probably just end up getting an Inter right back. I reckon. Uh, I just want to make sure everyone's on full chemistry. That's my main aim. So there we go. Uh, Syria. So we need. What do we need? We need a Roma right back or an Inter right back. Anyone. Any. Any will do. Uh, I don't want to get a Roma. Mm, I can get Florenzi, I suppose. How many seconds have we got left? We've not well, we've got a bit of time. Ambrose. Let's just try this guy out. Or oh, Montoya. Okay, we're gonna go for Montoya. There we go. Okay, straight up. That is done and dusted. That looks like a pretty nice team if you ask me. Um Yeah, I mean why not? That's sick. That is flipping sick. Look at that team. So we will be back in a second, guys, once we've got this team in our starting eleven. Here we go then, this is the finished team with all the players in it. So I just realized now what I could have actually done, I could have got a Roma striker or if I thought a little bit more wisely, I could have got like a Napoli right midfielder and then gone ahead or like I could have got Quadrado at right midfielder and then Dybala up top. Didn't actually realize that, yeah, I didn't have to get Rossi up top. Um, so yeah, a little bit disappointed in that, but Rossi is a player which is always sick on this game. He's been sick on this game for like, for like the past four years or something like that. So yeah, I'm still happy with this team. I think it's gonna be play very, very well indeed. Every single player is on nine chemistry, as you can see, or 10 chemistry. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this game. Let's see how well this Sanchez is gonna play. Here we go then, we have found ourselves an opponent and of course he has got a sick team. So yeah, he's got some Colombian team of the season card up top, which I've never seen before, but he's got a Barbo. He's got Hoof, team that isn't in there, in there Rudiger. Uh, yeah, that actually looks like a very, very nice team indeed. It's going to be tough to break down, but I believe in my team we have got a very, very nice squad. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed we can go ahead and, uh, and prove to people that this 90 Sanchez is worth his price. Go on, David Luiz. So strong on the ball. Go on. Here we are, Mohamed Salah. Here we go. Pretend we're going to cut back inside. We're going to go back down here, though. Now we're going to go inside. Here we go. Ball roll. Oh, and he's got it through. Mohamed Salah. Absolute quality. Literally runs half the length of the field. Does the two defenders. Comes back on his inside. And bang. Round the keeper. The keeper should not be getting beat there. I feel like he's going to rage quit. Watch this. Bye-bye. We we're actually on form at the moment. We're playing really, really good FIFA. Let's dive into another game. Here we go then, our second opponent. Now this guy has got one team of the season in his team, then that's Ruben Castro up top, um, and then kind of like a non-rare slash a couple of rares in his, it's just a full league of the team, but I think we've got this guy in the, in the bag, but sometimes these cheaper teams can definitely um, cut up a fight, and obviously it depends, you know, the, the person that's controlling the controller, but I reckon we're in for a good game here. Go on Sanchez, 
run past him. Oh, he's done so well. But I remember Mario Gaspar is flipping good on this game. Like, really good. Go on. Go on. Keep going. Keep going. Go on, near post now. Go on. Oh, my God. Cliche now. How many shots are we going to bloody have? How many shots are we going to have? How has he done that? Oh, my God. I will never know how he's done that. But Ruben Castro, I'm guessing he's going to be pretty cheap. But if you guys want a cheap team in the season striker, he is the man to go for. Look at this. Does up David Luiz as well. I think that got, went through his legs and just slots at home as far bottom corner as you can possibly get. Literally, that was unreal. Here we are. Go on up. Here we go. Go on, Alexis. Get the cross in. Get there. Oh, for God's sake. Medell. Oh, my God. That was travelling. So that was going to go in. I'm not even joking. I, I reckon that was going in. Go on. Head it back. Go on now. Oh, my. David Luiz. David Luiz. Go on. Play that now. Here we are. Here we are. Go on, Rossi. Go on. Finish it now. How? Cross it now. Please, just bloody head it in. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. What is going on? Can we get this in the back of the net? Oh, my God. It's off the post. It's actually off the post. When is it going to... Go on. Finish now. Finish. Mate, I'm playing... <laughs> Go, go, here we are, here we are, go on, go, go, oh my god, go on, last minute, come on, come on Jack, come on Jack, oh my god, last minute, come on, no, right, that is just not deserved, we're going to have a look at the stats at the end of this game, but yeah, I guess that is uh, literally going to be the end of the video, um, I have no words. I genuinely don't have any words. Like, his defence, I don't know what it was. Just felt so ridiculously hard to get past. Um, I mean, yeah, all I can say is hold my hands up and say, yeah, whatever, that guy deserved to win. The full-time stats, I had nine shots, four on target, 51% possession, 79% pass accuracy. I don't know, I, I feel like that's a very harsh reflection on the game itself but yeah that's going to be the end of the video if you guys did enjoy it then please be sure to drop a like that'd be absolutely amazing subscribe if you're new around here and i'll catch you guys later peace